Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. I do apologize for the echo. I'm actually recording in my room and it just happens to echo whenever I talk. So I do apologize for that, but let's get on with the video. Anyway, so today I just want to talk about seven reasons why you should buy a goldfish. All right, so reason number one is that they make great pets for first timers that are just getting into fish keeping. Now the reason why I say that is because goldfish, I mean let's just keep it real, the common feeder goldfish, they're only like 19 cents or 25 cents just depending on where you go. Now price doesn't matter but I bring price up because when you get into this hobby for the first time and you feel like you're ready to get that first fish, you don't immediately go for an arowana. You don't immediately go for the fish that's pricey. You don't go for a fish where you you don't feel too confident in your fish keeping skills and you don't want to take the risk of losing money so what do you do you go for the common goldfish which are 19 cents to 25 cents less or more it just depends on where you go but they are relatively cheap and that's why they are great for first timers because you're gonna kill your first fish everybody kills their first fish let's just keep it real everybody that's been in this hobby has killed their first or second fish and it's okay to accidentally kill fish because you don't know what you're doing because that's going to help you learn it's going to help you better your skill set when it comes to this hobby this hobby it takes patience and dedication and it also takes hands-on personal experiences with fish not just doing online research because you can spend all day and night and spend weeks and months researching a fish online but if you don't have any hands-on experience with dealing with that fish you're not going to be able to 100% take care of that fish okay guys so reason number two is goldfish are a very 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 peaceful fish okay they don't cause drama with anybody they are absolutely non-aggressive fish they don't fight other fish period they just mind their own business and they just love to eat and just swim and occasionally bump into things so you won't catch these fish killing your other fish that's a really good pro for these type of fish because a lot of fish in this hobby are pretty aggressive or they're at least semi aggressive these fish goldfish any variety of goldfish are not aggressive at all now they will eat smaller fish that's a very common rule in the fish hobby if you have a fish that's bigger than the fish that it's in the tank with it's more than likely going to eat it but goldfish they will not attack other fish they are very peaceful very non-aggressive and they just like to eat that's all they want to do is just eat reason number three as to why you should buy goldfish is because they come in a lot of different variations they have different kinds of goldfish for everybody out there you have fantail goldfish which are goldfish that have these long beautiful tails on the back of them that split into three parts and that is why they are called fantails now fantails can come in lots of different colors you know you have calico you have white you have black brown gold orange the color combinations can be endless you also have ryukins shabunkins orandas comet goldfish which are pretty much just feeder goldfish they're just a little bit bigger um, now people might say that koi's are considered goldfish to me they're not considered goldfish I actually looked them up on Google and they are more of a carp and they are not considered goldfish. All right, guys. So reason number four is these guys are really easy to feed. These guys are not picky when it comes to food. You, you can pretty much feed them a lot of different variety of foods. To me, in my opinion, they're the pigs of the fish world. And when I say that, I mean that they will pretty much eat anything i mean you can feed them tetra flakes you can feed them pellets you can feed them krill you can feed them blood worms it's endless to what they can eat they just shove everything in their little cute mouths and you don't have to feed them live food if you're against feeding live food so that's another pro right there that's another good reason to buy goldfish so they're really easy to satisfy when it comes to food so i think that's a really big plus when it comes to goldfish now when feeding these guys you really don't want to overfeed mainly because they can definitely eat all the food that you put in there I mean these guys they will eat a lot but goldfish in my opinion are fish that are more prone 
to dying from being overfed because they just really don't know when to stop. You know, they just gobble and gobble and gobble and just num 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 until they can't num 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 anymore. And also, overfeeding can cause bladder issues for these guys. These guys are very prone to that. It doesn't happen quite often. You just got to be careful as long as you maintain a decent water quality and maintain a proper feeding habit for these guys then you should be fine all right guys reason number five these guys are pretty hardy i mean they're pretty forgiving also when it comes to water quality and also to water parameters if they're a little off now that's not saying that you should just slack on water changes and you shouldn't clean their water and you shouldn't make sure that everything is okay in their in their tank you definitely want to still be on top of that i'm just saying that these guys compared to like like other fish such as angelfish and discus which those two fish definitely require pristine water conditions most of the time but goldfish they can survive and they can do okay in some decent water you just want to make sure that they're not in it for too long so i mean if you miss if you're behind a few days on a water change or if you happen to just overfeed a little bit and you don't take out the uneaten food your fish are, your goldfish are going to be okay there's not going to be too much damage done to your goldfish if that happens so just keep that in mind but like i said don't slack on the water quality of your fish tank you still need a good filter i'll also recommend down in the description down below some good filters for these guys that i use for their tank i use a sponge filter and a aqua clear hang on the back filter for these guys and they do absolutely wonderful i also have a air stone in their tank which provide lots of oxygen for these guys not that they need it they could do without it but if you want what's best for your goldfish and you want them to be at 100 percent i highly recommend that you go down in the description and check out some of the products that i ordered from amazon for my goldfish if you want your goldfish to be in good conditions such as mine the goldfish that you see in front of you are my goldfish and so far i've only had these guys for about a month or so and they're doing absolutely wonderful with all the equipment and water conditions and water parameters that i have them in reason number six all right so reason number six for why you should buy a goldfish is that they don't need a heater now the reason why i decided to use that as a good reason to buy goldfish is because we all know how expensive the hobby can be we also know that anytime that we can save a little bit of money by not spending it is always a good reason to get into something within this hobby that's why a lot of people will try to breed and keep goldfish outside and they are able to do that you can't really do that with a lot of the other fish such as tropical fish such as angelfish, arowanas, and all these other exotic fish. You can't keep those fish outside. Goldfish, on the other hand, you can keep them in ponds, you can keep them in totes, tubs, whatever. You can keep them pretty much anywhere as long as the water quality is pretty decent. Now, that being said, heaters can go anywhere from 30 to a hundred dollars just depending on the brand depending on where you're buying it from how much it costs to ship it if you order it online there's a lot of barriers there's a lot of factors that come into play when deciding which heater to get thankfully with goldfish you don't have to get a heater because goldfish are cold water fish and they can even survive cold temperatures outside during the winter time obviously not cold enough to where they freeze because if they do freeze then they will die but they can withstand pretty harsh temperatures especially if the water is deep enough then these guys can can live in cold water they do not need a heater and that's one of the benefits of having goldfish reason number seven is that goldfish are not a shy fish there's a lot of fish in this hobby that are just really skittish and that can be frustrating to some people sometimes you know you go out of your way to research your fish and then when it comes finally time to get that fish and you see firsthand that they're not very personable and that can be a downer for some people because some people want to get fish to see them and look at them all the time and with goldfish you can do that because goldfish they don't need hiding spots the only time that they're gonna hide is if you stick your hand in there and you try to net them out or something that's the only time they're really gonna you know really fear you but other than that they're always 
right in the middle and center of the aquarium just waiting for you to come and say hi and give them food that's that's all that they want that's another advantage you don't have to spend money on decor most people will keep goldfish in a bear tank or in a bare bottom tote or pond hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't leave yet i do want to ask you guys something so if you made it this far into the video first i just want to say thank you and that i really appreciate you watching this all the way through that being said i do want to pick a few people to shout out in my next video and this is real i will be shouting out a few people in my next video all you have to do is tell me what you think about goldfish whether you've have one or not or if you've owned one or not and say hashtag I am a master I know it sounds ridiculous but this will let me know who watched this video all the way through at least for the most part and I'll pick a few people and we'll see how that goes anyways I'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace out guys